In this video, we will be discussing the project integration management knowledge area, which is essential for ensuring that all the different components of a project work together seamlessly to achieve the project objectives. The first process in project integration management is developing a project charter. A project charter is a document that formally authorizes a project or a phase and outlines the project's objectives, scope and stakeholders. The next process is developing a project management plan. The project management plan is a document that guides the project's execution and control. It includes information on project scope, time, cost, quality, risk, procurement, communication and stakeholder management. The third process is directing and managing project work. This involves coordinating all project activities, monitoring progress and making any necessary changes to keep the project on track. The fourth process is monitoring and controlling the project work. This involves comparing actual project performance against the project management plan and taking corrective action if necessary. The fifth process is performing integrated change control. This involves reviewing and approving or rejecting change requests to ensure that all changes are consistent with the project's objective and are integrated into the project management plan. The final process is closing the project or phase. This involves formally completing the project or phase, obtaining stakeholder acceptance and archiving project document for future reference. An example of the project integration management knowledge area in action is when a project manager is overseeing the development of a new software product. The project manager would use the knowledge area to ensure that all project components including software development, quality control, testing and documentation are integrated to achieve the project's objective by applying the project integration management knowledge area. Project managers can ensure that all project components work together seamlessly and the project is completed on time within budget and to the satisfaction of all stakeholders. And that's it for the project integration management knowledge area. In the next video, we will discuss the project scope management knowledge area.